It's Fantasia. So today I'm going to be going over the top mods of the month. So there is a couple mods that were released at the end of last month, but for the most part, they're all this month. So before we get into it, let's do our notification shout out. And this one goes to you, Kylie. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate the support, seriously. And if you guys want a chance to be in a notification shout out, all you got to do is comment down below. So let's go ahead and just jump right in. So the very first mod is actually to do with the milestones. So there is some mods that expand the milestones. I did a video on this separately, but I'm going to go ahead and link everything down below so you can find it all and this is more of a rundown of these mods so if you want to see like an in-depth review check out the video I did recently but with this mod you can go ahead and click on your sim and then go to actions and you can go to manage milestones and you're going to be able to add one remove them whatever you want to do you can also obviously like gain milestones while you're playing but this just you know allows you to go ahead and go right in and add them so that's just you know a part of it but there's also like a whole bunch more milestones added to the game which is so cool so some going to show you guys some of them when you go to add milestone or add memory technically um you can go ahead and pick the age so if you want to set up a sim you know kind of give them a backstory that actually feels real you can go ahead and do that which i love but you can go to current age if you want to do that and then you can see here you can just add so many different milestones you guys can kind of see there's a whole bunch of new ones which is so freaking cool even put like carried a baby for another came out caught cheating like there's so much here you can create like a whole storyline just with milestones which I think is cool because then with your storytelling it's like you know it's actually like being played out for real like even if you're starting with a sim that has like a past life of a bunch of things so you can do that but I just thought this was amazing so there's gonna be like I think two or three links for the milestones because I'm actually showing you guys like multiple mods in one so there's like the one that's like it allows you to you know add milestones like this way but then there's also milestones in here by two different creators. So there is some new milestones that have been created and they're not a part of the same mod, but yeah, they'll both be linked. So don't worry about that. I would just grab them both. It's definitely worth it. So there's that mod. The next one actually has to do with mental health. So this is a new one. It is in beta. So keep that in mind. If you don't like realistic storytelling, you might not be a fan of this, but if you do like realistic storytelling, I think you'll love this. So when you click on your SIM, you can go to mental health and you can talk to a psychiatrist or you can talk to a therapist. I did also a full in-depth video on this. So if you want again to check that out you co you totally can it's recent on my channel actually and then also i have like a mod review playlist if you guys want to go through that so anyways we're gonna have her talk to a therapist she'll basically just like you know it'll pop up here but nothing's gonna immediately show up and then the phone will ring you just have to wait a little bit so don't like freak out it definitely works <laughs> but it takes a little bit okay so here we go the phone will ring it'll just be like someone random and then it'll say here i'm a psychiatrist and i will be providing you an assessment and a diagnosis for you today can you tell me how you've been feeling lately and then there's like an array of questions questions that you can answer. So I'm feeling sad lately. I'm feeling very anxious. I can't focus on anything. Let's say we're feeling anxious. You're feeling very anxious. Is there anything in particular causing this feeling? I don't think anything is triggering it. It seems to be out of nowhere. I've been feeling stressed out a lot. Let's say that one. Do you notice any sudden extreme feelings throughout the day, such as a feeling of panic along with a strong sense that something bad is going to happen? Yes, I get sudden intense fear throughout the day. Let's say that one. So then she just was diagnosed with generalized anxiety. So heading over to here, she will get a trait. Now, like I said, this is in beta, so it will expand more. In my experience, when my sim got like depression, and stuff it did not show up as a trait i don't know if that will change but right now generalized anxiety does show up as a trait and then now you can see here she's feeling very tense generalized anxiety anxiety disorders are a group of mental health conditions that involve excessive and prolonged anxiety that can interfere with daily life they include generalized anxiety disorder panic disorder and social anxiety disorder with specific phobias treatment for anxiety disorders may include therapy medication or a combination of both so once you're diagnosed with something you can click on your sim again and then you can go ahead and talk to a therapist about it if you'd like to or you can take um anxiety meds so we're gonna go ahead and do that for her and she, again she'll just go on her phone so some of these interactions and stuff again i'm not sure if they'll change or anything like that but that is how she'll take the meds and then you can see here it says dazed this doesn't always make you feel dazed by the way like sometimes it makes you feel happy sometimes it just makes you feel fine but right now it's making her feel dazed from taking uh anxiety medication the feeling should wear off soon so this is not gonna last that long but now you can see like her main thing is not like this was her main mood and that did kind of change so that's not like interfering with her as much anymore and then once this wears off the anxiety much should still be in effect but if not of course you can take more so then you can talk to your therapist and this you know 
is just pretty self-explanatory. Again, it'll just like go through that little interaction and then you just wait for your phone to ring. Okay, so this is a therapist. The first time I did this, it was always a dog. And then everyone in the comments was like, it's a therapy dog, which I loved, but I guess it's not always a dog, but I got a dog twice. <laughs> you said you needed to talk. I'm here for you. What's on your mind? So again, let's just tell them we're anxious. Um, I'm sorry you're feeling this way. Have you done any self-care recently? Let's do, I haven't tried. Exercising, eating healthy, trying relaxing activities and staying connected are all ways you can practice self-care. So you can just say a blast in the future. And then this talk was much needed. So there's that. You can get a moodlet from this feeling better. So she's feeling better after speaking with the therapist. Sometimes it's nice to just let it all out. So there's that mod. There is more to it, but that's just like the general idea of it. So we do have some mods for infants and stuff, which is exciting. So the first one being a very simple mod, but honestly really helpful. As you can see here, we we have two infants, which is pretty freaking hectic. They are upset because they need a nap. However, you can see it's saying rest time, but then they're not that tired. So the game by default will do this for infants. Like, you know, they're going to need naps throughout the day or they'll get these sort of moodlets. Also, I do want to mention really quickly here. I am in the save file called maybe Emily save file. I did a video on it recently and that's where this family and this house is from. I just went ahead and jumped into a pre-made family. But anyway, so these two little infants, you can see their needs are going down a lot slower like I haven't focused on them through this video and you can see like it just is decaying much slower so this mod simply just literally slows down the infant need decay and you can choose it for all their needs or just energy so whatever you want to do the only downfall is this here like you know it's still gonna say that the infant has been awake for too long even though they're not needing a nap but I think that's okay because it's realistic to have your infant take naps so you can just put them down for a nap like once or twice a day even if they're not that tired you know, the, the energy will still go down. It just won't be so drastic. But this way, I feel you can teach your infant things a lot faster. If you're doing storytelling, it's a lot easier. The infant's needs are very realistic, but some people were saying that their game is kind of messed up right now and it's to the point where like their infants get taken away even if they're constantly caring for them so if that's you then this is probably helpful and it's just good if you have a big family and you have a lot going on you're doing storytelling you know you can kind of focus on everyone so that's pretty like self-explanatory there's not much i can show other than just how this is like decaying a lot slower the next one also has to do with infants and that is the diaper bag mod so this i love so here it is here. You can just search diaper bag and it will come up. There is three different swatches. So this is pretty cool because you can basically take this on the go. So you can go ahead and just like put this into your Sims inventory super easily. And basically what this is for is to just put things in there that you want to bring with you. If you know, you're going to be heading out, you can put some toys in there, which is super nice. Like anything that can be dragged can be put in here. And this is really great if you're going to be using another mod, which I'm going to get to in just a minute. So yeah, you can go ahead and just put this in the inventory. And then when you are out somewhere, you can put it on the ground, like anywhere that you are. So that's amazing. I love this super simple, but super necessary. I kind of wish we got something like that in the game. I know you can just like put it into your inventory, but this just like, it makes more sense. Like if you're a real player then this makes more sense for sure so there is that one going into build mode again i'm going to be getting to the mod where you can like use the diaper bag more after this one but first i just wanted to show you guys this okay so we have this play mat here which you know, we already have playmats in the game, but I'm classifying this like as a mod just because I feel like, you know, it looks a lot different than the playmat that we have <laughs> and it works the same. So I feel like I don't even need to show it to you guys. I might just have my sim placed an infant here because why not super simple actually that's going to be a hassle because this little one is right over here <laughs> it's super simple but i think it just adds like a different look and it feels kind of like a mod because it looks so different than the original playmat but yeah it works great she can you know look at the toys and do everything that she would usually do she's super cranky but yeah i love it i feel like it just gives a different kind of vibe this also reminds me of the sims 2 um so I don't know. I just like it. So there's that one. Okay. We literally have a screaming infant. I'm just going to go ahead and help her out a little bit, but the next mod is the one that I feel like will make the diaper bag even more useful. So again, we have to go into build bag. We're actually going to be going into build bag for like everything else. Okay. So this is an update to the childbirth mod. So if you guys, you guys are probably familiar with the Panda Sama mod, there's a new update for lactation and this adds breast pumps and some other cool things. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab this 
cookies here. I'm just gonna put it right there. <laughs> and then there is also lactation cookies. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this downstairs somewhere like right here, which is so freaking cool. And then we also have some formula that goes with it because you know, your sim can get sore. They can get mastitis and everything. So that's definitely needed. And then we have formula. So I love this because you know, you can do the realism and everything with the pumping and like, you know, your sim breastfeeds, right? Or if you don't wanna do that, you can also formula feed, which you know, would be like the equivalent to like the bottle feeding in the game already, except, you know, there's no like way for it to really seem like if they're formula fed or like, like, you know, you can breastfeed, but when it comes to the bottle, like that could have still been breast milk put into a bottle. So if like you really wanted to seem realistic, like your Sims doing formula, then this is perfect. They will actually come over here and like mix the formula and everything. So I thought that was really, really cool. So anyways, this is just the most realistic thing ever. So you can click on this and you can pump left side. We can pump the right side. She's probably not going to get any milk. You're so upset. Girl, it is okay. Look at the toys. Okay, so you can see here she's currently pumping. She'll kind of do it anywhere. So, you know, this is a great spot for her to do it, I feel like. And it'll just be blurred. Um, So, like I said, she probably won't be able to get, get breast milk. So it says low yield. So this basically happens when your sim's not able to pump any breast milk out. Again, I do have a full video going over this where I just do everything possible. <laughs> so right now she's not gonna be able to get any milk. However, we can have her go ahead and eat some cookies to try to help that milk production. You will have to do it a few times when your sim hasn't breastfed before. However, also if your sim just give birth, gave birth, they will naturally start producing milk and then they might get milk on the first try. So we're gonna have her eat a couple cookies. We're also gonna have her make baby formula so I can show you guys that so again there's so much more to this like even when you store milk in the fridge look how cool this is so this does look better when it's on like a kitchen counter so keep in mind you're supposed to put this on the kitchen counter because then it'll be like more leveled with your sim but she'll shake it up and everything i just thought that was so freaking cool and the animation's amazing it looks perfect when it's like if it was over here um so now that you've made formula you have milk in here so you can go ahead and put it away and it'll be in the fridge you can also sell it in milk bank so it's like the same thing when they breastfeed so i'm not going to worry about that basically if she or not breastfeeds if she pumps basically the milk will go into your inventory once she gets some and it'll have a yellow cap instead of a blue cap so that's how you can tell the difference but it also will say formula milk so this can go in the fridge and then when she pulls it out she'll actually have to go warm it up she'll walk over to the sink and warm up the bottle which i love that so yeah basically this is really cool because you can go ahead and put this milk in the diaper bag and then if you are formula feeding or pumping that's how you can kind of bring the milk and it just seems like so much more realistic so like i said you can also sell this to the milk bank and it'll sell for 10 simoleons so that's another way your sim can make some money which is pretty cool so yeah there's more to it there's more moodlets there's moodlets when she gets breast milk everything so there's lots of different things going on there and then of course you can take the tylenol and she really will take it it's not going to do anything if she's not in pain but yeah so there's that one last but certainly not least is actually a custom content set but like it feels like a mod because of how amazing it is especially because of one item even though it's not like technically this functional item i don't know it is just so good so sixum has recently come out with this dreamy nursery set it isn't early access right now but it's so good that it literally feels like a mod i don't even know why because it's just furniture but the way everything looks like it just i was like oh my goodness like it just makes the game feel so different if you are like decorating a nursery so i'm not gonna be able to show you guys everything since this is like a mod compilation type of video i might do a whole separate video on this because it's just that good look at these items like oh my goodness like how freaking amazing I actually might go ahead and delete everything in here so I can show you guys a few of the things because it's just incredible. Like I'm obsessed with that bassinet, even just for starters, like that wins me right away. <laughs> and look at this crib, like everything just looks so amazing. How cool. And then there's also this high chair that comes with it. Like I said, there's just so much, so I'm not going to pull out everything. And there's clutter in this set. And like, look at this, like what? It reminds me of like Pampers, but it's like simified. So it like fits the game more. And then there is also new bottles and there's even like one with a bottle warmer. There's also like this whole clutter thing with formula. We have a pacifier, everything. So there's also, okay. So here's where it like feels even more like a mod. Like, of course it's not but it just like gives me those vibes so there's like a baby camera for a baby monitor and then here is the baby monitor like what i don't know if anyone has made this functional or if they will 
but like this is amazing uh it just like makes it feel like so real you can kind of like choose one that kind of like looks like your baby the most am i crazy or is that ocean sims little infants is it i didn't even know that i don't know if that was announced or something but if that is that is freaking adorable am i crazy isn't that i don't know am i wrong <laughs> And like, look at this one. How cute. It's just so stinking adorable. I feel like these pictures are like all Simmers photos. Anyways, this is so cute. So you can like put this anywhere on your Sims house and you know, you can check on your infants. Like I just love that. And then look at this. Like, look how cute. Anyways, you guys can see the amazing items. Like I'm not going to be able to pull everything out, but this is definitely a must have set. And then look at this new little play mat. How freaking cute is that? So with the post down below, with the so with the link down below, the you guys will be able to see a picture of like everything um together and it's just so cute. So anyways, I think this is a must have. Like if you are not someone who downloads um CC baby stuff or just CC furniture in general, you just want everything to be like you just want everything to be like in-game content, I feel like this is worth it. Like just get this. <laughs> It's just so cute. So anyways, you guys, um, our little infant is finally asleep. She finally knocked herself out. She's so cute. So that is actually everything. I wish I had more to share with you guys. I know there's probably like little mods that have come out like throughout the month, but I want to show you guys ones that are like the top mods that I've been using. So yeah, that's my little list. I try to do this every month as long as there's like at least four mods, preferably more, but you know, <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you guys are all having an amazing, amazing day. And don't forget to leave some positivity down below. I love you guys also so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Then